the world is on the cusp of profound technological change. To maintain its technological leadership and tackle today's toughest challenges, America needs a national approach to guide its technology policy making, one that reaps the benefits of advanced technologies while limiting harm. America has a rich history of rising to meet generational challenges. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first satellite, triggering the space race. A centerpiece of the Cold War, the space race catalyzed U.S. science and technology competitiveness and rallied the American people. After Sputnik, the U.S. government mobilized and strengthened America's innovation base, the people, infrastructure and resources that drive technological change. NASA took America to the moon, but the agency's impact expended beyond the moon landing. It contributed to the creation of GPS, LED light bulbs, CAT scans and prosthetic limbs. The research and work of the Advanced Research Projects Agency drove innovations in a range of new technologies, including the Foundation for the Internet. The Sputnik moment also motivated the passage of the National Defense Education Act, a law designed to cultivate a new generation of scientists and engineers. The government funded groundbreaking research, making America the world's research and development, or R&D, leader. By the 1960s, the United States accounted for nearly 70% of global R&D spending. Today, America's share of global R&D spending has decreased significantly, and China is set to surpass the United States in total national research and development spending by the middle of this decade. The U.S. government's actions after Sputnik transformed the country's science and technology base and hold important lessons for policymakers today. To compete in a technology-driven future, America must commit to sustained support for its innovation base, increasing investments in cutting-edge R&D, setting national objectives for technology investments, and inspiring Americans to rise to the moment.